I approached a man in the graveyard and said I was too scared to walk along. As he explored me back to my grave, he said, don't worry, you'll get used to it. I cried at his grave for what seemed like hours, until my son said, don't cry, mommy. I then screamed and ran for my only son's grave. I was reading the newspaper when my wife called out, dinner's ready. I cried, remembering how she didn't escape the fire. A chill ran down my spine as my dog licked my neck. I put Rusty down four years ago. We looked at the cameras to see who was responsible for pushing me down the stairs. Every bone ached as I saw her. She had been missing for three days now. I thought she couldn't escape. My ex-boyfriend's eyes are following me. The creepy thing is that the rest of him doesn't. It's been three days since the crash. I cry knowing they won't find me until it's too late. The trunk is jammed. My eyes were wide. I wish he didn't cut my eyelids off. I don't know what's more worrying, that I'm staring down on my own dead body, or that it just grinned. I spent my last moments with my eyes closed and the wind in my face. It was more comforting than watching the ground rise up to meet me. Every week, my dad goes out to clean the meat hooks in the barn. Not once do I remember us owning livestock. My parents told me I could be anything I wanted to be. They never guessed I wanted to be an orphan. I fell asleep to my mother cradling me. I woke up to her glossy eyes and smiled, knowing her body had gone into rigor mortis. My parents are surgeons. I used to talk to the furniture. Mom always told me not to cross the street. She still visits my grave. To the woman who keeps banging and knocking loudly on my door, I'm not letting you out. She said, but baby, I'll always love you, as she pushed the knife deeper into my chest. I just lost my newborn baby, yet I still hear their cries. I always loved the soft sweaters my aunt made me during the winter, until two years later, my five dogs were gone, and I received a sweater that looked like my five dogs' fur. I keep running. Too bad he still sees me everywhere. Why did Dad have to die just to kill me? I always loved my neighbor's fake skeletons he put on the chairs and the small one on the doorknob. I wonder why he was arrested. I loved the feeling of my boyfriend hugging me from behind. I didn't like it anymore after his funeral. I threw chips into my attic. I heard crunching sounds a minute later. I screamed and banged on the coffin lid. Too bad nobody can hear me. At the funeral. One of the worst things you don't want to disappear from the morgue bed is a corpse. I'm still hiding from you. I was sleeping until I woke up to a loud banging. When I checked the bathroom, the window was open and there was blood everywhere. I was looking through my dead brother's room for his phone. When I was driving home, I got a text message from him saying, You forgot to check the closet. I never sleep, but I keep waking up. My mother is sweet. Won't you agree? How tasty she is. 
My brother won't come out of the shed. I made sure of it. My friend just called me to say hi. I don't know what's creepier. The fact that his phone line has been disconnected, or that he died a year ago. Mom called me to help out downstairs. It was normal until I heard a voice that sounded like mine say, Sure thing. I went to thank my wife for killing the nest of spiders. That's when I saw the glint of the webs holding her up like a marionette. I used to have friends. I'm sad I killed them. I saw a man staring through the window. I have no idea how he managed to get into my house. I can't see, breathe, speak, or hear. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. My mother told me to keep her baby while she's out, but then I noticed my mom died three years ago, and I was holding a small, rotting, human body. I heard someone get off my parents' bed. I'm home alone. I can still see my shadow standing in front of me in my room, though what frightened me the most was that it was nighttime and all the lights were out. The newborn child died in my hands. I crushed his head in one of them. I don't know what's worse. A man in his underwear, all bloodied and bruised, and screaming for help? Or the fact that he keeps escaping my store? Ugh. I knew I should have killed him and stored his remains in the meat locker. I run faster, but it's always behind me, walking. My dog likes bones so much, he even dug up my bones. You guys, you shouldn't have. She was beautiful, though her gag screaming was getting annoying. I lock the door to keep the monster away. I'm making sure that everyone is safe at the cost of my life. I only live with my brother, who has schizophrenia. Hearing him downstairs talking to himself, I thought he was having an episode, until someone replied. I kept running and screaming for help, but it was too late. My body is already in the forest. No one heard me scream, but my last words were help me. The light bulb in my room died. Little did I know, it wasn't the only thing dead. I don't have any pictures of myself, but I have plenty of you. After we came home from my grandmother's funeral out of state, we found a message on our answering machine addressed to my mother. It addressed her by name and said, It's your mom. I just wanted to let you know I got home okay. I don't know what's more scary. The fact that there's a dead body in my room, or the fact that it won't stop screaming. I don't know what's more scary. The fact that my dog is gnawing on my bones, or the fact that he's gnawing on his own bones. They celebrated the first successful cryogenic freezing. He had no way to let them know he was still conscious. You know that weird full body twitch that you get sometimes when you're falling asleep? If there was a camera pointed at you, and you saw what it captured at that moment, you'd never sleep again. Put the mirrors back. We miss watching you. You stupid bastard, I cried as he tied me to the rails. Don't you know this line has been abandoned for years? Of course I know, he said walking away. No one comes here at all. They delivered the mannequins in bubble wrap. From the main room, I began to hear popping. 
When I finally grabbed her in the darkness, I swam back to the surface. It never occurred to me how fast the ice could freeze over. You start to drift off into a comfortable sleep when you hear your name being whispered. You live alone. When next you are completely alone, imagine you are listening to a sound of some kind. When that sound seems to stop, you'll know that you've been noticed. Nighttime swimming is one of the benefits of working at a public pool. One night after everyone left, I was waiting in the deep end and felt a hand grab my ankle. Ready to settle down for the evening. I put my headphones on. The whispering coming from them startled me. They weren't plugged in. Neatly laid across my dining room table, I found a dull kitchen knife, a torn crusty rag, and a flip video camera, which seemed to be recording. I own none of these items. Attending his funeral today was really scary. It might have been the constant muffled screams I heard, or the worry of someone noticing the dirt on my hands. You wake up. She doesn't. The funeral attendees never came out of the catacombs. Something locked the crypt door from the inside. I sat on my shelf with thoughtless porcelain eyes and the prettiest pink dress I could find. Why did she have to be born still? I found a dead body in my trunk today, which is strange, because I remember putting two in there yesterday. You hear this scream across the hallway, but your eyes won't open and you can't move. I just saw my reflection blink. The upstairs neighbors are awfully noisy. I told my landlord. It's been vacant for months. If you are scared at night, don't keep your eyes closed for too long. There's a reason you are scared, and now you can't see it approach. For sale. Like new engagement ring, barely worn, came right off her finger. Finger also for sale, for the right price. My TV keeps turning on by itself. It's annoying, but what's more worrisome is how it only shows footage of me standing in my living room. My girlfriend is scared of horror movies. They make her paranoid which can be tricky when I'm watching her through her living room window. My boyfriend has a collection he's very proud of. He never told me that he's been collecting souvenirs from the girlfriends he's murdered. I have a recurring dream. I'm murdered by a man I never met. I thought it was stupid until I went on a blind date and saw him at the table. Read this after the day is nigh, and tonight you might possibly die. I was always told not to play with my food, as it is a blessing to eat. However, I'm one to tease my meals, and killing is always a treat. I was never more scared, or more filled with dread, than the night the police found her dismembered head. I watched you play Wishlet at the park. I'll come to your house when the day goes dark. I travel here and there so suddenly and never make a sound, slaying quickly, quietly, swiftly. Just don't turn around. And from the grave where my father was put, a hand reached up and grabbed my foot.
You are the prettiest person that I ever saw. I love to snack on your eyeballs, quite raw. Warm and juicy, best served fresh. I love the taste of human flesh. I held her in my arms dying. What could lie in her crib crying? Can you hear the beautiful ring of the bell? That means it's time to drag you down to hell. I will wait patiently until I'm found and exact my revenge, flesh by the pound. Roses are red, violets are blue. You'd better run, I'm coming for you. You see, I stand on my box, and I know how your window unlocks. Wrapped in sheets and cuddled in bed, you foolishly expose your sweet precious head. I once had a girlfriend named Jill. I buried her under the hill. But sometimes at home, when I'm all alone, I'll find that she sleeps with me still. I held my son's hand tightly as the cars whizzed past the sidewalk. With any luck, they won't find the rest of him, I muttered to myself. I was starving and lost in the woods, until I found a hiker. I'm full now, I just wished she hadn't screamed so loud. I'll hide your body in my walls, your body will never be found. I'll wear your skin as a suit, your friends will like you more than they used to. I opened my front door to the frantic pounding of my next door neighbor. To my horror, it was something that was wearing his skin. I used to be considered the evil twin, but now I'm considered an only child. From afar, the doll looked just like her. From close up, she could see it was made out of her lost teeth and dead skin. I couldn't wait any longer to be a mother, so I grabbed a knife and ripped the baby from my stomach. I work in a strip club, and I hate to admit it, but I hear more screams than moans. I swear I heard my daughter whisper my name, but the thing is, I'm still pregnant. I kissed her. But she wouldn't kiss me back. She was already decomposing. I don't know where in the hell my husband is. I can't remember where I buried him. My cat never goes near my closet. The one day she did, she never came back out. I tried to check my makeup in the mirror, but my reflection was missing. I never meant to make my ex cry. I only meant to make him bleed. I reached under my bed for my missing sock, but felt another hand instead. There was a knock on my door. Something told me not to open the closet. The knife slices, just like butter. I tried to be a loving mother.